Even long before this war has started, the UNRWA has been overburdened by the increasing need of the refugees population in the Gaza Strip. And this war came to add insult to injury and to increase the burden and to create more challenges and demands for the UNRWA. The UNRWA is not looking only after the population of the refugees in the Gaza Strip. Now the UNRWA is looking after around two million Gazans who are already identified as internally displaced people. In the background, you see one of the UNRWA center. The UNRWA center is not only used as a healthcare center, it's rather used as a shelter. And in that shelter, people are in need to food, people are in need to water, people are in need to provision of healthcare. With the Israeli claims that has been that have been made, and with more of the countries suspending or cutting their aids and their funds to the UNRWA, more challenges are created, and the UNRWA is in a very critical position where the demands of the population of the IDPs are non-stop, and where the needs of the people are increasing, and where the bombardment is heavier, the loss is heavier, and the fire is broader. The UNRWA is now between a hard place and a hammer struggling to cater to the increasing need of the people. The people in Gaza Strip are not so happy about the very lacking situation they have been living. They have been asking the UNRWA, being the representative body of the international community, to assist and help them through the very difficult situation. Yet they are aware that the UNRWA has been targeted even before this war started. And there were some ways and attempts underway to make sure that the UNRWA is outlawed, that the UNRWA is eliminated, and the refugee cause at large is also a target. Palestinians are worried, they are concerned, they are afraid, and they are struggling non-stop to live their life under this continuous targeting, deprivation, and despair.